What's going on everybody, it's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level. And in today's video I'm going to be showing you the best way to play defense in Madden 18. Now if this is your first time viewing one of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to play defense in Madden 18. It's not a, any kind of a blitz concept. It's more of a coverage style defense. But early in the year, I am finding that this is probably the uh, best way to play that is getting me the most stops on defense. I've seen other people using similar tactics uh, in the competitive community. So it definitely does work. It uh, It's definitely like a bend don't break style of defense. But at this stage of the game, it is definitely for the average opponent that you will face online this will give them a lot of trouble and you know force them to make bad reads throw picks or take sacks so uh, I'm gonna do this out of the nickel normal formation you can do this out of like nickel two four five if you're in a three four playbook I find that nickel formation is the best formation to do it with um just because we still have some linebackers on the field so if they do run the ball we won't get pancaked or anything like that and the play you're going to want to look at is the cover one robber press. Now, you can run this similar, really out of any formation, any cover one. I just think it's better out of nickel and nickel two, four, five. So it's the cover one robber press. And the thing this year is man defense is pretty decent. It's not the best, but it definitely is better than zone defense because zones are just really broken right now. Man defense... It, you know, at least half the time, man defense works good this year. It sticks with routes. You have some routes that will still, you know, kill man, but you have to try to identify those and manually take them away. But more times than not, man defense at least does a decent job this year out of sticking with the receivers. They don't get burned every single time. So what I typically like to do, um, you don't have to base a line, but you can base a line, which is why triangle and then right on the left stick. It kind of depends on the formation. If it's a formation like this that's more spread and kind of balanced, I will base a line. And then what I like to do is I always take the, the safety that's in the yellow, and we want to put him into the purple zone over here. And now what we can do is we can take the guy that's manned up on the running back and put him on a purple to this side of the field. Now, if they were to throw to the flats to the running back, it would be open. So you have to adjust behind this. And what I do is just use her, uh, the free safety in the middle of the field. And I also like to crash the defensive line down because I find that they get better block shed doing that. So a basic example of this is just base a line, crash the defensive line down, put the yellow safety in a purple, take the guy that's manned up on the running back, put him in a purple to the opposite side of the field, and then you want to use her the middle. So the running back is going to the flashes play, so he will be open, but we'll we'll get further into that later in the video. But you just want to stay in the middle of the field. You know, you want to try to take away these routes coming over the middle of the field and wait for the block shed to happen. As you notice, nobody was immediately open. As long as you can kind of stay home in the middle of the field and, you know, jump on anything that might get open, you're going to get picks and you're going to take the ball away or you're going to force them to take a sack. Now, let's say... They hit you to the flats, so you want to account for this if they are hitting you with the flats. Now, if it's third and long, fourth and long, you don't really have to worry about the flats, so you can run the setup as is. But let's say, you know, it's a third and five or something, and you have to worry about the flats. After you put the purple zones on the field, you can play underneath coverage, which is wire triangle and then down on the right stick. This is going to put hard flats on the field. Now, you don't have to leave both hard flats if you don't want. You can go back over here and then put this guy into a purple if you want. You don't have to keep him in the hard flat. Or, you know, you can put him in a hook zone, a vert hook, whatever you want. Uh, but for this, I typically like to have these guys going to the sideline because I'm going to control the middle of the field. So now, if they were to try to dump it off to the flats, you see that this guy is here to play it. He meets him there, and he doesn't gain any yards. Um, and then a lot of times, you're going to get a pick six going the other way. So that's one way to set this up. An alternate way to set this up if you want to leave the running back manned up, uh, we can do that. We just want to kind of slide this guy over a little bit just so he's not so far away. Um, we're going to still put this guy in a purple, but instead we're going to take this defensive end and put him in a purple or a light blue, whichever you want. You, like I said, you can drop him into a vert hook as well, uh, which you can do to switch it up here and there, but typically I like to have these guys going towards the sideline. So in this case, we're going to have worse pass rush. So if you want to keep the running back manned up, that's okay, but just understand that the pass rush is not going to be as good. And if they were to run the ball to the left, it would be wide open. So if you did this setup, make sure it isn't definitely in a must-pass situation. And then again, we're just going to lurk over the middle of the field and just try to take away anything that comes over the middle of the field. You're going to notice here though the pass rush isn't going to get there as quickly, but as long as you can lurk around, you're going to be okay. Now, another way to set this up, again, we're going to base a line, put this uh, safety over here in a purple, put this linebacker in a purple, and then we can take our defensive tackle. We can either spy him or put him into like a vert hook going to either side of the field. So 
let's just say we put him to the right side of the field. That means now we're going to kind of use her in this area here with Adams because we know that that defensive tackle is going to drop into that area. Now, again, the flats will be open here. So you have to adjust this defense, you know, according to how you think that the offense is going to play. If it's a third and long or fourth and long and you don't have to worry about the flats, then you can do this. If you have to worry about the flats, you play underneath, put the, put the hard flats on the field to stop it. And then we're just going to lurk this area of the field right here try to take away these routes while the block shed gets loose see here we're running upfield trying to take these routes away the block shed's not going to get loose quickly every single time but sometimes it will so this isn't something you want to run every play but when it's a must pass situation you want to pull this out and to try to really force your opponent to have to pick apart the defense you want to have everybody covered and really force him to make a read that he's not ready to make now if you're worried about a scrambling quarterback, depending on who you're playing, you'll have to adjust a little differently to account for that. So let's say you have a fast quarterback. Then you might want to do something like this. Put this, put these two guys in the purples, the defensive end and the safety, and then take the guy that's manned up on the running back and put him in a spy. You might have to make that adjustment if you're playing a fast quarterback. And then again, if you need to cover the flats, play underneath coverage to cover the flats. If you don't need to cover the flats, then just have the purple zones out there. That works too. And then again, we're just going to use in the middle of the field and you have the spy there in case, you know, the quarterback tries to run the ball, you're good money. So that's the different ways you can adjust to cover one. It's definitely one of the better ways to play defense so far in Madden 18. So definitely practice it, take it into the game and let me know if it works for you guys. Leave it in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.